Hello, my beautiful lovelies. It's Pamela. Welcome back to my channel. And today I would like to show you these little tiny faux envelopes. And I know that we've all made them before with just um, coffee dyed or tea dyed paper and folded them so they could be unfolded and written in. But I've been making these and for a long time as like little tuck spots and so I saw these on somebody's channel, but for the life of me, I cannot remember who it was that was making these, yeah. that she had done something really clever with them. And so I wanted to share that with you. So just a quick tutorial on this. You just take one of your book pages or stack of book pages. And all I do is just glue this one page pretty good and press the two together and then I rip it off and I move on and I make a whole bunch of those. After I've made a bunch of those, then I cut them down to different sizes and I think this is about two and something, a little over two inches, two and a half, uh, two and three quarters. So I wanted to show you how I fold these. So I have my strips of various um, widths and all I do is bring them together, make a little point at the top of the page and these book pages are kind of fragile, that's why I used two pages together. So I make that point, and then I fold it down. Let's see, it's wanting to rip back here because they're so fragile, but it still works out and gives it that kind of shabby look. Then what I do is I fold it up To what I think I want the, the height of the envelope to be. And then I just cut it and then flip that up and there's your little envelope. And then the piece that's left over, I will either keep it that width or I'll cut it down and make a little small one with the little leftover bits. Come on, little guy. Usable, because I will just glue it. Get up there. And these go super fast, especially when you're not trying to film. <laughs> okay, so I just make a bunch of these little guys and then I distress them with whatever color ink I want or what I'm using on that current project, like I did these little guys. But then I did, and I just loved it. These are like bigger tuck spots. So here we have three that are stapled together. And so that's what I have done with this whole stack of little envelopes. So I've got green ones and pink ones. I have a black one, some of this really pale rose color purple, blue. So now these can be used as tuck spots in, in a journal. I'm working on this one here, but you could put it at the bottom of the page and glue it on three sides or two sides and you could tuck stuff in the top or from the side. And I am going to embellish these. I'm going to put some little bits and pieces on them, you know, a little piece of doily, paper doily, and 
maybe a little label or something, but they are just so cute and I just really loved the idea of combining something that we make all the time, but I'm so new to all this, I still am just amazed that I make this and then I go to somebody else's channel and I see that they've kind of extended it one thought further so it gets my mind going and so that's why I'm passing this on to you because you may have seen this, you may not have, but I just think they're really adorable and hope you can use some of this idea in some of the projects that you're working on. So I have probably 40 or 50 of these and they are gonna be fabulous for my stash. And so that's kind of what I'm gonna call this little series is stockpiling your stash because that's exactly what I've been doing over the last couple of weeks since I haven't been able to do anything really big. I've been doing a lot of small things and getting things ready to go so when I can get back into my craft room and start making journals, I've got all of these things ready to go and just start decorating the pages up instead of trying to do something one at a time. So, so I hope that you like this idea and so anyway, I will talk to you all oh. soon. Anyway, I hope you're all crafting today and having fun and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.